Farmers have been notoriously bad at going, getting checked up. Often a limb needs to be falling off before they, before they go and see their doctor. We all hear the stories of farmers dropping in the paddocks and they've actually been feeling unwell for some time. We're trying to change that. I think it's really important for a small town like Rakaia to have a medical practice like us so they don't have to travel to get treatment. Having to travel for care does stop people accessing it. I'm Dr Sue Fowley and I live on a lifestyle farm 30 minutes south of Christchurch with my husband Colin, son Ben, and we also have the medical practice in the rural community of Rakaia. I was brought up on a mixed farm in Aberdeenshire in Scotland, then was a GP in the Highlands in Scotland before moving out here to New Zealand. Six years ago we were staying with a friend near Rakaia and she said they were needing a GP. Put me in touch with them and quite quickly I had a job. A couple of years ago the chairperson approached me and asked if we would like to buy the practice. I couldn't imagine working anywhere else. So we said yes because it's just a really awesome community to work in. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> You're telling me, how many grandkids? There's quite a lot of times that we're struggling to work out how to, to look after someone, and that's when the community come together. Is it your house? And I think you, you just get that in a, in a small rural town. People want to look out for each other, help each other out. It helps us day to day because we don't have the resources that some of the urban practices so have. It's a really good place to, to work and I think the, the team that we've got working in the practice, you know, we're like a big family. We have a lot of fun. I think rural people put up with stuff more, feeling unwell, feeling tired, injuries. So it can be a challenge to get them to, to look after themselves. We try and encourage people to come before they're feeling unwell, but you know, especially if they are feeling unwell, don't don't wait until things have got really bad. Very good. Yep, yeah. no problems there at all. If you end up unwell, who's going to drive your header? Who's going to milk the cows? It always comes back to that. So it's really important to look after your health. It should be everyone's number one priority. It's important to go and get a checkup. We really want to make sure that there are as few barriers to people getting good health care as possible. Rural general practice is already stretched because of lack of resources, so when COVID comes to our community, it's going to put a real strain on, on our practice. That does kind of frighten us a bit, but we're preparing the best we can. Those who have chosen to be vaccinated, you know, they'll be protecting themselves, their family, their farm, and also for us, it means that if people are vaccinated, we know that they're less likely to be seriously unwell, so we'll be able to continue providing the, the other cares that we need to in the community. I really enjoy being able to come away from work and, and back to our farm. Work's really busy, and then coming back out here into the countryside is, is just so relaxing. It is a family business. Colin's what we call the maintenance man. He comes and fixes things around the building. He can often be in there in his farming shorts, changing the light bulbs, fixing a door. He's not come with his drenching gun yet though. <laughs> that ends it. I couldn't ever see myself working as a city doctor. Rural people are just different. They're, they're friendly, they're a community. They support us and we try and look after them.